Good evening. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. More than 500 audio calls and security footage from three different cameras, all stemming from the 1 October investigation. Now, we want to warn you that some of the video that you're about to see could be difficult for some to watch, although we have opted really not to show much of what was released today. 8 News Now reporter Shakela Alvarenga is live at Metro headquarters, and she spent the night going through all that footage. Shakela? Pleas for help, breathless questions from victims not knowing what was happening. It's the fifth batch of records made public by Metro Police. There were hundreds of 911 calls on October 1st. Iron Medical. They're heartbreaking. Hey, it's Lori over at Metro. Hey. Hey, just letting you know we have a possible active shooter situation at the Route 91 Festival. Okay. We've got like 30 calls in queue, and I don't have anything else. I have unknown injuries at this time. We're opting not to play anymore. It is extremely difficult to listen to. Surveillance video from three cameras was released today. Two of them are from Mandalay Bay. Just after 10 o'clock at night, a gunman fires down on a crowd of thousands. Innocent victims run for their lives. What happens afterwards is too graphic to show. Meanwhile, the other camera near the hotel's south corner focuses in on guest rooms. While people are seen moving around in one of the rooms, it's unclear if that is where the bullets are coming from. The other camera is on the southwest corner of Reno Street. First responders rush to the scene. We see just how chaotic it was. More than eight months after the shooting, Sheriff Joseph Lombardo has repeatedly said investigators don't know a motive, and he doesn't believe one will be determined. And you can listen to more of that audio on our website, lasvegasnow.com. Reporting live at Metro headquarters tonight, Shakela Alvarenga, 8 News Now. Thank you, Shakela.